The newest member of the royal family has been named Louis Arthur Charles in a poignant tribute to his grandfather's beloved mentor. Prince Charles' great uncle and honorary grandfather was Lord Louis Mountbatten, the great grandson of Queen Victoria and uncle to Prince Philip. His full title was Admiral of the Fleet Louis Francis Albert Victor Nicholas Mountbatten, 1st Earl Mountbatten of Burma. In 1979, Mountbatten, his grandson Nicholas, and two others were killed by the Provisional Irish Republican Army, IRA, which had placed a bomb in his fishing boat, Shadow 5, in Malamore, County Sligo, Ireland. Charles referred to Mountbatten, fondly named Dickie by the royal family, as the grandfather he never had, once saying, I admire him almost more than anybody else I know. Lord Mountbatten was born Prince Louis of Battenberg in Windsor in 1900. His great-grandmother was Queen Victoria and his sister was Princess Alice of Battenberg, Prince Philip's mother. Mountbatten famously encouraged the betrothal of his nephew Philip to Elizabeth, the future queen, and Uncle Dickie, as he was known in the family, shared a particularly tender relationship with his young family member Prince Charles. Lord Mountbatten was Admiral of the Fleet in the Second World War and the last Viceroy of India. The 79-year-old had been frequently warned about his safety while visiting his Irish holiday home, which is just 12 miles from the border with Northern Ireland. On the fateful day he was killed, Mountbatten had set sail on his pleasure boat Shadow 5 for a fishing trip. In 2015, Prince Charles made a poignant speech in which he praised Mountbatten as the grandfather I never had. In August 1979, my much-loved great-uncle, Lord Mountbatten, was killed alongside his young grandson and my godson, Nicholas, and his friend, Paul Maxwell, and Nicholas's grandmother, the Dowager Lady Braburn, the prince told an audience at the Model Arts Center in Sligo. At the time I could not imagine how we would come to terms with the anguish of such a deep loss since, for me, Lord Mountbatten represented the grandfather I never had, so it seemed as if the foundations of all that we held dear in life had been torn apart irreparably.